Many people contend taxpayer investment in green energy is also risky business. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel takes a look at some of the evidence. Enerdell received a $118.5 million Department of Energy grant to produce advanced lithium-ion battery systems. Now its parent company, Ener One, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Republican lawmakers call this the latest example of the taxpayers losing on the administration's green energy experiment. This is a jobs program, uh, you know, according to the president, that's costing taxpayers millions of dollars and has wasted money. And at a time when we have uh, $16 trillion in debt, uh, over 8% unemployment, We've got to have programs that make sense. A year ago, the vice president was highlighting Interdell as part of the Obama administration's goal to put one million advanced technology vehicles on the road by 2015. But Mr. Biden confused its name with another ill-fated energy company. We believe Americans are ready to embrace that transition. And you folks, you folks standing right here on this floor, Enron One, are on the ground floor of that transformation. Enter One's bankruptcy comes after the failure of two other government-backed renewable energy companies. Solar panel maker Solyndra received $535 million in loan guarantees and filed Chapter 11 in September. Energy storage company Beacon Power received a $43 million loan and sought bankruptcy protection in October, all with taxpayer support. The president's explanation in his State of the Union address was these companies aren't always successful. Some technologies don't pan out. Some companies fail. Even today at the University of Michigan, Mr. Obama made his pitch for alternative energy. I don't want to cede the wind or the solar or the battery industry to China or Germany because we were too timid. We didn't have the imagination to make the same commitment here. Energy officials say operations at Enerdell will continue during the restructuring and the company is not expected to eliminate jobs at its Indiana facility, but Kinzinger still has concerns. Yeah, uh, you know, look, a company files for bankruptcy because they're in trouble. And uh, in fact, the interesting thing is Inter One made number 67 out of the White House's 100 companies basically that are, that are changing America. And uh, this is a scary proposition. What irritates Republicans is the president is holding up the Keystone XL pipeline, traditional energy, which they argue would create at least some 20,000 jobs and would be funded with private investment and not tax dollars. Brett? Mike, thank you.